Chase Lehock with the Blue Futon, and we have a new show in the digital world called The Terminal List. Chris Pratt, Taylor Knish, pretty sure I'm saying his last name wrong, but is this worth being on his list? Don't be on the list. Don't be on the list. So the terminal list, what's about to very simple premise actually. Chris Pratt and his Navy SEALs team has a mission in Syria that goes completely wrong. People just dying left and right during this mission. However, only two people make it out alive. Chris Pratt and one of his Navy SEALs buddies. However, a couple days later, he commits suicide. Did he really commit suicide? What's his conspiracy theory? Who is going to be on his list? Or is any of this actually true? So did I like this show? I enjoyed this show through in and throughout. Great acting, directing, cinematography, action. The realism is on screen. However, there are some little nitpicks here and there. And I'll give you those negatives first. So with the story, I did enjoy the story for where the locations were taking us, who were the bad guys, who was behind this ploy of everything happening. However, the very end, the last person on the list, you see coming if you watch the show and you say, I could see this kind of connecting, and it does connect at the end. However, I just don't like those type of endings and how they decided to do it. Even though you've seen it a million times before, I never liked it and I'll never like it here just because the brotherhood or if you want to put it the just it just feels dirty to a sense about and the believability of this person actually doing it and everything going through with it. So that's all I'm going to say for the final person on the list. And I was just like, eh, don't really like that at all. Also, you can say some believability about how some people die or how some things happen in the missions. I'll say one thing, especially in a admiral's office with a explosion. That is very unrealistic in my opinion on how someone could get from point A to point B like that. But that's just me looking at it that way. Also, the reporter aspect, I enjoyed it throughout, but I wish a little bit more meat was on the bone with that one about how she was getting her information as well as her source and everything like that and finally i'll say some of the cgi doesn't work but of course it's a tv show and it's not like this is a cgi heavy show and you can tell some of the budget was meant for the cinematography the location everything like that and probably none of it went to the cgi there is a mud slide scene you could tell it was very cgi-esque and some of the smoke you could tell like okay that's some cgi smoke there but other than those small nitpicks I really, really dug this military show about the realism of the gunplay, the realism of, you could say, the situations they are in that Chris Pratt is in and how he has to get out of them. The acting is great by everyone involved. I do think it's funny, like, this is a James Gunn mix. Why are you saying James Gunn? Because Sean Gunn plays a small part, Chris Pratt plays a part in this movie, and Jai Courtney plays a part. So it feels like they were on set of filming either Justice League or a Garden of the Galaxy movie, or something like that. And James Gunn's like, hey, Sean Gunn, my bro. Ty Courtney, do you want to be in this show? Even though it probably did not happen in my head. James Gunn has something to do with the terminal list. But I really, really doubt it. But it's in my brain that it is actually occurring. But that scene with Sean Gunn and throw up. It's like, damn, Sean Gunn. It seemed like you had to go through this shit for that one. Because that just looks absolutely disgusting. But like I said, the scenarios they are in is really good. Also, what you could say the negative is like some of the, like I said, some of the kills and where they occur. You're just like, can that really happen? But you got to put some of that believability to the back of the brain. This was written by, I think, Jack Carr, who was a Navy SEAL and does writing books. Or he writes books about, you know, missions that could happen. Of course, something like Jack Reacher type of stuff. But this one, he goes more on the lines of the Navy SEALs. And Chris Pratt really wanted to make it. And Jack Carr, who is the writer of these books, also executive produced this show. So... Like I said, scenarios look great. The cinematography is fantastic. The actual look of the show is very, very well produced to a T. Antoine Fuqua, he directed the first one, and he also produced the rest of this TV series. So I think he had a good hand in it as well. And he is one of those people that did uh, The Equalizer, King Arthur, 
and other movies to that fault where you're like, he really knows how to make a solid movie. But overall, The Terminal List, I really enjoyed it through and throughout. Solid action, solid gunplay, realistic on that aspect, great acting, cinematography. The technical route of it is pretty great, except the CGI, which that is part of the negative, as well as some of the believability of some of the kills and the scenarios that are in, as well as some of the story aspects where I'm like, eh, just my heart, my heart wanted the end to be a little bit better, but there are some surprises here thrown in overall. So the terminal list will receive a four out of five blue which equals that 80%. So see the critics new scores gave this one. Damn, so we have the critics a 36% with 33 of them. Audience score at 91% with 180. Here's critic consensus. While Chris Pratt fully commits himself to the terminal list mission, this thriller unrelently gruffness is no meat and all potatoes. I have to solidly disagree with that. Let's see what some of the negatives are saying about this show. I'm just curious. Uh, overstays its welcome. Uh, too much for Chris Pratt. Familiar to a fault. Why is all the negatives like The Daily Beast, The Guardian, truly left-wing You know, magazines or editorial that actually don't like this show? Uh, but overall, we have Austin Burke giving it a positive. But yeah, I guess some people just don't like the military. CNN, you know, negative. Not shocked. Uh, Los Angeles Times gave it a positive, though. New York Reporter, negative. ABC News, negative. Sydney, so we have Australia giving it a positive. Variety, negative. Clyder gave it a positive. I'm shocked on that one, honestly. San Francisco Chronicles, negative. So, yeah, there you go. We have the 91, the 36, and my 80. So I'm pretty sure the people, the normal average Joes, do like this. Chase out with the Blue Futon. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think of Blue Tontopia. You Blue Tonians, thank you for watching. Have a great day. Thank you so much for watching. We only need like 50 more subscribers to get to that 1,300. We are making it, and you are helping me 100%.